I can't believe Final Cut Pro is still free. Well, kind of. You see, there are three different price points for Final Cut Pro. So answering the question, how much does Final Cut Pro cost, isn't so simple. In this video, I'll show you the three different price points and I'll help you pick out the right one for you. And at the end, I'll show you how you can get some Final Cut Pro titles, transitions, and effects for free, even though they're worth over $100. Let's get it. All right, so the full version of Final Cut Pro is $299.99, so 300 bucks. And that $300 has included all updates since 2011. I bought Final Cut Pro in 2013 and I haven't paid for an update since. So Final Cut Pro comes with all sorts of cool stuff like a motion tracker, titles, transitions, effects. It comes with built-in sound effects, 3D text, awesome color grading tools to up your game. So how does that compare to other professional video editing software? Let's take a look. So Adobe Premiere Pro is $20.99 per month, and that comes out to $252 per year. And you don't own it, you're renting it or borrowing it. So DaVinci Resolve has two versions. There's the free version, which is limited, but it's still pretty good. And then there's the studio version, which is $295 per month. Vegas Pro is $34.99 per month, which comes out to $240 per year. And just like Premiere Pro, you don't own it, you are renting it, you're borrowing it. So let's take a look at that, let's compare that. So in your first year, with Final Cut Pro, you'd spend 300 bucks, and with Premiere Pro, it'd be a little bit less if you were to use it for a year, 252. And DaVinci, about the same, 300, 295. And Vegas Pro for the first year would be 240. But now let's look at that, let's say you're using it for three years. Final Cut, $300 flat. Premiere Pro now has cost you almost $800. DaVinci Resolve is the same, and Vegas Pro about $720. Now, when we look at it in 10 years, as long as you don't have to pay for updates, which I haven't done in 10 years, you're still only out $300. Premiere Pro, you're out $2,500 and Vegas Pro nearly $2,400. So there's some advantages to owning the software versus renting it. So a lot of people are wondering, is Apple gonna go subscription like Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro? There's a lot of money to be had there, right? So far they haven't done that, but in 2021, they updated their trademark to add the word rental of software. So they might be cooking something up. We don't know for sure. So right now, Final Cut Pro is a one-time purchase of $300. In a little bit, I'll show you how you can get it for only $200. So what are the subscription possibilities? Well, they might charge fees for updates. So you buy it for $300, and then when they have a major update, you pay 25, 50 bucks, I don't know, to get that update. Or maybe they'll offer a lifetime purchase, you know, like $1,000. Another option is to make it software as a service only, meaning it's just like Premiere Pro, you have to pay monthly or you can pay yearly at a time, but you have to keep paying in order to keep using it. Or they might keep it as is and then add some sort of cloud-based version or access to templates as a subscription. You know, pay a certain amount a month to get access to all these new titles and transitions and effects, that kind of thing. Are you enjoying this video? Has it been helpful? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will find it? Thank you. Another thing to keep in mind when you're trying to decide if you should buy Final Cut Pro is price versus cost. So the price is $300, but what's the cost? Final Cut Pro is a lot faster to edit on because of the magnetic timeline, and so you can get projects done a lot quicker. You'll also save a ton of time editing in Final Cut Pro, so there's that opportunity cost there too. So you gotta weigh both price and cost. So you can also get the Pro Apps Bundle for Education for only $200. This is for teachers or students or people that work in the educational realm and in industry. I don't think you need to provide any sort of teacher identification or student ID card to buy it. And if you do get the bundle, you get Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, which is like After Effects. You get Compressor, which helps you export your videos, although it's not needed in order to export your videos. You also get Logic Pro, which is audio editing software, and MainStage. What's MainStage? Let's find out. It looks like it's some sort of performing software. 
Cool. All right, so Final Cut Pro has some minimum system requirements. Let's take a look at those. First off, you need Mac OS 11.5.1 or later, and they recommend at least four gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes if you're gonna do heavy video editing like 4K video, 3D titles, or 360 degree editing. You need a metal capable graphics card and if you click on this link it will take you and show you supported aftermarket cards. For heavier video editing they recommend at least one gigabyte of video RAM on your video card. And then you need at least four and a half gigabytes of disk space to install the app. And then you need space for your projects. And so I recommend if you're going to do a lot of heavy video editing that you get a one terabyte solid state drive at least for your projects. So a lot of times people wonder, how many computers can I install Final Cut Pro on? If you bought Final Cut Pro with a personal Apple ID, then you can install Final Cut Pro on as many computers as you own or control. If you bought it with a business account, then you have a couple options. You can install it on all business computers, but only one person can use it, or you can install it on one business computer and multiple people can use it. So in other words, I can't buy Final Cut Pro, install it on my business computer, my video editor's business computer, and my motion graphic designer, his computer as well. Does that make sense? So is Final Cut Pro worth $300? Personally, yes. <laughs> Years ago, when I was first getting into video editing, I was using iMovie at the time, and I really liked it. It had the magnetic timeline. It made sense to me, like this is how video editing is supposed to be. And so I loved iMovie, but I wanted to upgrade to Final Cut Pro. But at the time, it was the old version of Final Cut Pro, not with the magnetic timeline. And it was like a thousand dollars, I think. And I didn't want to drop that, so I was looking at Final Cut Express, which was a more limited version of Final Cut. And I got really close to buying that, but it was 2011 and Apple released this new version of Final Cut Pro with the magnetic timeline. And I tested it out and I loved it. I was like, oh, this is how video editing should be. It's so great. For a long time, I shared the Final Cut Pro app with an old job I had. They had bought it and let me use it for a while. And I loved it and used it so much, I said, it's totally worth it. I'm buying my own copy or my own license. And I did, and I haven't looked back ever since. Before you buy Final Cut Pro, they have a trial. You can test it out for 90 days, and it's the full software. There's no limitations or watermarks or anything. It's just valid for 90 days. So you can test it out before you buy it. You just go to this trial website and I'll put links for all of this stuff in the descriptions. And you click on download and then follow the installation instructions. Okay, so now you've tested out Final Cut Pro. You're ready to buy it. You wanna get it. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can go to the website and click on buy. It'll pull up this web page and ask you to open the app store. Or you can go directly to the app store by pressing command spacebar and typing app store on your computer and opening it up. And then search for Final Cut Pro here. I've already bought it, so it shows open here. But once you get to this stage and you haven't bought it, you just click on buy and then it will automatically download and install Final Cut Pro for you. All right, so now that you have Final Cut Pro installed, you may need some titles and effects and transitions to spice up your videos. Don't worry, I got your back. I put together a free plugin called Freebie Pop, and it's a pack of titles and transitions and effects that you can use in your videos. It's worth $138, but you get it for free. Just click the link in the description. Happy editing.